welcome to this demonstration of my Casio G-Shock G8000. So this is a watch from 2006, so a slightly older G-Shock. And uh, you might be wondering why I don't do more G-Shock videos on the channel. Because uh, I do like G-Shocks, but they are most of them are too big for me. Although this is one of the few exceptions, it's only 40 millimeters wide. Uh, although it is quite, uh, quite thick, as you can see there. Um, so... The main feature of this watch, but it's got the usual sort of G-Shock functions, um, but this this um, thing here is that it's sort of, I suppose, not quite unique, but one of the more unusual features of it, which is a, it's just a yellow LED basically, uh, and it it flashes along with the uh, beeps um, in the alarm and countdown timer and various other functions. Uh, and also, you'll notice, or you might not notice, um, because it's not very easy to see. It's not very legible this one. But um, I'll put the light on, you can see it. You've got these bars at the side, at the top, uh, which sort of uh, measure elapsed time in various ways, uh, either tenths of seconds or whole seconds or minutes. Um, so let's just see, this is the main time zone, uh, time mode. Uh, you've got the date, the year, well, you've got the day and the year across the top, and then the date down there, the time and the running seconds. And you've got this sort of bullseye feature on the front there, just to sort of design thing, it doesn't actually do anything. Um, so the next mode uh, is the world time mode, and I think it's got 48 uh, different cities in there. Uh, and you'll see this is the, the world time. Uh, it's still displaying your home time at the top there, and that, that, um, that main time will appear in all the modes, actually, which is a feature I do like about this watch. Uh, when it says sync there, what that means, it, it says that when it's switching between modes, uh, it means that the, light, the light's going to flash as well as the um, beeps on the alarms. So you can set it just to beep and not flash, uh, but I've set it obviously for both. So this is a stopwatch, uh, and an unusual feature of this stopwatch uh, is it's got this auto start feature. Uh, so if you hold this button in, you get this five second countdown. In fact, when you start it, oops, it'll do a five second countdown. There's the light flashing. And then the stopwatch will start in the normal way. And you've got the normal sort of functions. Uh, so that's the, the keep pressing the light button. That's the stop and start there. Uh, and the adjust button, that's the split. Uh, and then you stop it and adjust to reset it. So yeah, fairly standard stopwatch. Apart from that auto five second countdown start. An interesting feature. Uh, so the next mode is the countdown timer. And again, this has got a number of different configurations. At the moment, if you've got this arrow here, it's what it will do when it gets to its, um, to start it there, when it gets to zero, it will just stop. Um, but you can set it to auto restart uh, another cycle when it gets to the, the bottom of its countdown as well. And you do that by, um, well, actually I'll have to adjust it, won't I? I'm not sure it let me do that when it's running. No, it won't. Let's just stop that, reset it, hold that in. And then, no. yeah, so that's to just normal countdown, and that will auto restart when it gets to zero. And so you've got those, the choice of those two modes. Let's leave it to auto restart, and I'll just kick that off. Um, and then we've got an alarm mode, so we've got an hourly, hourly chime. Uh, Got a, how many alarms? Three? No, two alarms. Uh, a snoozable one. And you can set the alarms for a particular date or day, day, day of the month. Uh, so there's a sort of element of date setting there with the alarms as well. Again, you've got the, the main time at the top there. So we're back to home time mode there. Let's just go and see how the countdown timer is getting on. So about 20 seconds to go. So we'll just have a quick look at the watch. Uh, not a big fan of the strap, not overly comfortable, but uh, there you go, short of the back and the side does look quite rugged, quite military. It's just a shame I didn't get the positive display one because it is very difficult to read. And there we go, there's the, uh, and as you can see, well it's beeping away, it has started counting down again. So how long will it beep for? 10 seconds? Yeah, 10 seconds. So yeah, that's the uh, the auto restart. 
And let's just reset that there. And as I said, you can turn the, um, stop the light from flashing. Uh, and if you press and hold the adjust button, and then you go through all the various different adjustments, it's the very last one. So there, there you go, sync. That means that's to turn the light off. That's the light on effectively. Uh, and like other Casios, not all of them, but certain ones where you can't actually set the day, um, you have to set when you're setting it. If the if your day and your um, the day of the week is wrong, it's because your year is wrong, and you've got to make sure you set the right year using that. And then you've got to work out the day from the date and the day month and the date, I should say. So that's it. To exit that, the Casio G-Shock G8000 from 2006. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Cheerio.